Crocs were once considered the death roll of fashion, but now they're the coolest clogs on the market thanks to high energy ads like this. You should see them do the nut bush. <laughs> Crocs <laughs> have collabs with the rapper Lil Nas X, a much bigger Nas X, <laughs> and brands like Pringles to prove once you croc, you can't stop. <laughs> Even the holes in Crocs are plugged with products that I've been assured are called gibbets. Yeah. Who would buy that? Not me. I made my own. <laughs> 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 Emily, how do they get us to buy this croc? Uh, with lots of influences and, you know, exclusive collabs and by ra riding the personalisation wave, which, you know, Gen Z are all about. They're about, you know, manifesting, projecting their life choices, their individuality and their latest vintage finds and their crocs and their socks. And then carefully curating, you know, their crocs with the little gibbets so that they are almost a platform for who, who they are. These are the salty snacks I like. This is my football team. This is my favourite emoji. I think it's um, the outlandishness mm. of some of their collabs that work as well. Like, crocs are kind of ugly and they embrace that and so they've done collabs with like Balenciaga where they've done $800 high heels and it just the hype that comes off that and the FOMO and they sell mm. is extraordinary but I think also where they do really well is building a community a lot of brands talk about that online but it, they just produce lots of content what Crocs does is respond to a lot of people's comments on their content so people actually feel like they are actually part of this bizarre community. Yeah. But, but Adam, really... they were a joke. Crocs were yeah. a joke and they've become this very fashionable brand. That's right. I think Crocs are a sign that we've collectively just given up as a society. <laughs> <laughs> and... and... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To, to your point, yeah. that's like saying, oh, well, we'll take whatever you market to us. We'll wear those. That's <laughs> yeah. fine. OK, we'll go ahead with it. They've done two things really well. Like, they're, they're very comfortable and they're very distinctive, so you can always see them. So they've got the basics right. And then at the other level, they've kind of done brand association with very cool people. I did my thesis in clinical psychology on identifying the underlying constructs of cool people. What makes people cool? <laughs> cool yes. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, and, and what we kind of found was that there's nothing inherently cool or not cool about any kind of brand or product. It's just, are cool people using it or not? And can you leverage the coolness? So the bigger you are, the more you have to maintain an association with cool people. So they've got mass distribution, be really big, and then just kind of maintain this kind of conversation around cool people are using our brands all the time, and then they monster the world. So well. in, your, in your thesis, how, do, when does a brand become uncool? when cool people stop using it. So if you've got a cool hotel and cool people stop going across the foyer, your yeah. hotel's not cool anymore. And this anymore. is where Crocs have done it really well, right? They know that fashion goes up and down and because Crocs are so identifiable, they'll become a point where they're not cool for eight years or whatever. They've got a whole other market of nurses and health workers that they market to. And they know that's your constant. So they've sort of got this fashion and the function going exactly. at the same time. Super smart business. Well, that is smart, because to me, healthcare workers and nurses are the coolest people of all. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to the ABC. <laughs> 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 uh, there is one kind of croc that we'd like to see, so we made it ourselves. At last, the ultimate croc collab, the Cata Croc. Now you can let a thousand blossoms bloom, and every three months, there'll be torn apart. The Catacroc. We ain't spending any time on it. 